Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. Today is January the 31st, 2022. And before we jump into things here, I want to talk about my second channel, Matt Cart, where I go to thrift stores, garage sales, pawn shops, and flea markets looking for collectibles and things to flip on eBay. It is my birthday this week, and the greatest birthday gift that you guys can give me is going and checking my links in the description for my channel, Matt Cart, and subscribe if you like that type of content. It would really mean the world to me. And with that being said, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys, the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you very much. Now, let's get moving. Starting list off here today with Platinum Angel from Magic 2011. Now, this reprint is down 10.58% from $12.19 to $10.90 on the market, and its average price right now is $10.99. And our next loser on our loser section today is Curiosity Crafter. And this is the extended art version of this card from Commander 2021. It is down 10.89% from $9.64 to $8.59 on the market. And its average price right now is currently $10. And our next loser on our loser section here today is a double feature card. It is Maniform Hellkite, and this card is down 11.58% from 12.18 to 10.77 on the market, and its average price right now is 12.21. And it looks like we have another double feature card on our loser section today, and that card is Rockfall Veil from Innistrad Double Feature. It is down 12.35% from $9.47 to $8.30 on the market, and its average price right now is $8.89. And we've got Metalwork Colossus from the Secret Layer series. It is down 14.48% from $11.12 to $9.51 on the market, and its average price right now is $8.95. Our next loser on our loser section today is Augur of Autumn, and this is another card from Innistrad Devil Feature. It is down 15% from $10.80 to $9.18 on the market, and its average price right now is $10.34. Our next loser is Toxwell the Corrosive, another card from Innistrad Devil Feature. It is down 15.50% from $21.61 to $18.26 on the market, and its average price right now is $20.15. Our next loser on our loser section is another double feature card, Overgrown Farmland, down 15.57% from $8.99 to $7.59 on the market, and its average price right now is $8.32. And our final loser of the day is Hostile Hostel from Innistrad Double Feature. It's down 16.69% from $5.99 to $4.99, and its average price right now is $5.99. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day. And we are starting this off here with Goblin Settler from Starter 1999. Now this card is up today 5.07% from $43.42 to $45.62 on the market. And its average price right now is $53.47. Now this card sees a little bit of play in commander decks like Numat the Devastator, Grenzo Dungeon Warden, and even Legacy Goblin decks as well. Our next winner on our winner section is Luxury Suite from Battle Bond. This Battle Bond dual land is up 5.12% from $28.32 to $29.77 on the market, and its average price right now is $29.98. Now, there is a different version of this card that was released as a Zendikar Rising Expedition. That card is currently sitting at $30.02 on the market, and its average price right now is $31.33. This card is seeing a ton of commander play in decks like Edgar Markov, Kali of the Vast. Prosper Tonebound, Queen Marchesa, Corvald Fake Hurst King, Angie Falconrath, and even Kess Dissonant Mage decks in Commander as well. And the next card we have today on our winner section is another land, and that land is Phyrexian Tower. Now this is the Jumpstart reprint of this legendary land. It is up 5.26% from 2054 to $21.62 on the market, and its average price right now is $19.99. Now the original printing of this card from Urza Saga is currently sitting at $29.94 on the market, and its average price right now is $30.74. Now, the reprint that was on the list that uses the same artwork is sitting at $24.10 on the market, and its average price is $27.65. Now, the Ultimate Masters version of this card is sitting at $17.93 on the market, 
and its average price is $20.29, and the World Championship version of this card is the cheapest at $16.67 on the market, and its average price right now is $19. Now, this card is seeing a ton of play in the Commander format in decks like Marin of Clan Nell Toth, Korvald, Fae Curse King, Chatterfang Squirrel General decks, Kirk, Son of Yawgmoth, Wilhut the Rock Cleaver, Edgar Markov, and even Yawgmoth, Thram Physician decks in Commander as well. But it also is a pretty desirable card in just casual play, which is driving the price point as well. And our next winner on our winner section today is Seagate Restoration from Zendikar Rising. Now this Mythic is up today 11.86% from $13.41 to $15 on the market. And its average price right now is $13.94. Now there was an extended art version of this card released in the collector packs. And that card is currently sitting at $18.44 on the market. And its average price is exactly the same at $18.44. Now this card is seeing a ton of play across a variety of of formats in standard decks like Salt Eye Control, in modern decks like Belcher and Oops All Spells, and commander decks like Eureka of the Tiger's Shadow, Icy Tyrant of Gyre Strait, Orval the All Form, Quain Iterant Meddler, and even Octavia Living Thesis decks as well in commander. And our next card on our winner section is a reserve list card, and that card is Spinal Villain from Legends, and it also happens to be a Legends Rare, and there's only 19,300 copies printed of every Legends Rare, including this one. It's up 16.27% today, from 107.47 to $124.95 on the market, and its average price right now is 108.97. And it looks like we have yet another reserve list card on our winner section today, and it is Bazaar of Baghdad from Arabian Nights, which is also from a Four Horsemen set. It is up 21.60% from $2,300 to $2,796 on the market, and its average price is $4,195. This card is seeing a ton of vintage play in Dredge, Squee Holovine, and even Hogak decks. And remember, this card also happened to have its permanent disclosed, and there is only 31,000 copies printed from Arabian Nights. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day. And we are starting to list off here with He Who Hungers from Champions of Kamigawa. This foil is up 34.51% today from $6.49 to $8.73. And next up on our foil winner section is Yagmoth's Bargain from Urza's Destiny. Now this is actually a reserve list foil. It's up 35.58%. From $349.99 to $474.50. Next up on the list is Circle of Protection Red from 9th edition. This foil is up 36.07% from $657 to $8.94. And our next foil winner of the day is Hondon of Cleansing Fire from Eternal Masters. This card is up 36.20% from $569 to $775. As maybe people are expecting that there's going to be a ton of shrines in this set. Our next card is Annex from 9th edition, up 36.56% from $4.65 to $6.35. And our next foil winner of the day is Skewer the Critics from Ravnica Allegiance. This card is up 37.14% from $17.07 to $23.41. And our next foil winner is Miri the Cursed from Planner Chaos. This card is up 37.57%. From $47.25 to $65. And the next winner on our winner section today is Defender of Chaos from Urza's Legacy. This old frame foil is up 37.59% from $3.99 to $5.49. Our next foil winner is Helm of Cauldra from Fifth Dawn. This card is up 38.38% from $15.84 to $21.92. And the next foil winner is Saskia the Unyielding from the Secret Layer series. It is up 40.78% from $19.91 to $28.03. Next up on our foil winner section is Overwhelming Instinct from Onslaught, another old frame foil, up 41.18% from $4.25 to $6.00. Next up on our foil winner section is Reprisal, a 7th edition foil, up 41.45%. From $760 to 
And our final foil winner of the day is Ratcatcher from Dissension. This card is up 44.19% from $12.40 to $17.88. As yes, we're probably going to be getting a ton of rats in Kamigawa, and this is obviously due to a spec. Now, thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering market movers it really really means a lot to me if you could could you hit that like button so this video does get shared into youtube's algorithm as yes i'm still trying to grow on this platform and i really want to hit 15,000 subscribers this year and all the comments and likes that you guys have been doing have really helped grow my channel and i'm really really grateful for you guys seriously you guys are the absolute best let me know in the comment section what was your favorite mover of the day which cards are you most surprised to see and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today i do read every single comment that you guys leave so please leave them down below i also make these videos from monday to friday so i will be back again tomorrow for another magic the gathering market movers and until then please enjoy the rest of your day Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.